hello hello what is going on guys welcome back it's your boy blue and uh we're changing it up today major <laughs> major car mechanic simulator 2018 i am addicted to this game right now both of us are actually and it's my fault <laughs> it's all my it really fault. is though. it's all my fault we're, we're both we're both in it bad right now. We're in it bad. So I wasn't planning on streaming this today, like at all. That was not the plan. The plan was actually for me to stream X Plans. You can also tell my voice sounds a whole lot better. Um, it's not very much. Deep. It's not 100%, but it's it's better. Um, but anyways, I was planning on streaming like X Plans or something. But to be honest with you, I just wasn't feeling that. And I was like, why should I stream something I don't feel like streaming? It's my channel. I do what I want. And I bought this game on the Steam sale. Just what? When was that, bro? Tuesday? Two days ago. Like bro. two days ago, and Steam now says I put 15 hours in this. <laughs> <laughs> so let me check how much I have. I can't. I I just I'm stuck. I can't get off of this game right now. I don't know why. I am so attracted to this game. <laughs> I really, honestly, don't understand what it is. Like, I know I like cars. That that's something we all know. We we know I like cars. But why would I want to make like fix cars? Why? Why do I? I don't. I've never wanted to be a mechanic. That's not something that's interesting to me. Anyways, welcome to Blue Arrow Customs. <clears throat> that is the name of my garage. <laughs> and um, basically, we're just gonna. I mean, this is what I was already doing before I started streaming. Like, I was supposed to stream an hour ago. And I was trying to decide and plan, hey, what should I do? What flight should I do for X-Plane? And I just was so distracted because I kept fixing cars. Like, all right, one more car. No, one more car. <laughs> okay, next car, I'm going to... After the next car, yeah, next car, I'll do it. I got it. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, can you guys hear me all right? Is the music too loud? I'm going to turn it down. I feel like it's too loud. Um, so, yeah, so we're here. <clears throat> All that just leading to state, bringing us to Car Mechanic Simulator. If you're not into this, if you feel like at any point it's getting boring to you, feel free to leave. This is just what I am doing right now. This is what I'm interested in at the moment. This is what I want to do. Um, yeah. And yeah, so um, hanging out with Giovanni. What's up, Hayden? Good to see you. Raven, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Let's see who else we got in here. Sir Games Production. Yeah, I, um, I bought this game a day after you. Grand Porter. And I have 14 hours of gameplay already. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> crazy. 
it's so crazy. Like, it's not the first time I've recommended a game to someone, and then they they beat me in progression in, in hours, like somehow. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you should try this game. And they try it like a whole 24 hours later, and then I play with them for the first time the next day to find out that they're like twice my level. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get started. We'll be talking more while we're fixing stuff. We're just kind of hanging out, chatting. So you guys feel free to send in questions if you have questions about the game, about anything. I'm willing to answer those things. Dylan, bro, no problem, man. I just I didn't answer those those uh those requests. Uh, well, not requests. I didn't answer your messages. I was just busy at the time, but you kept kind of spamming hi. And I was like, you know what? This is probably not the conversation I want to have. So I didn't reply to you, and I had to eventually end up blocking you. But I'll unblock you tomorrow. Just make sure you don't spam me. I'll eventually reply to you if you send me a message. Um, but anyways. <clears throat> Check out this beautiful Dodge Viper. So one thing I haven't even told Giovanni yet is, uh, so when I bought this game, I, uh, I only bought the silver pack. It came with the Dodge, uh, the Dodge DLC and the Mazda DLC. Well, since then, I was like, I don't really know if I like this game. I don't know if I want to get any more DLC. Well, I've been addicted to this game for the last 15 hours, and I went back and rebought the deluxe pack. <laughs> <laughs> So, <clears throat> oh, man. now I have all the cars, all the DLC that exist for this game. What's up, Alt Key? Good to see you, man. No problem, Star oh, Games. I'm glad you're here today. So now we have some nicer cars to work on. We'll be getting cars in our phone. So anyways, what's wrong with this Dodge Viper? we got to fix this thing. We're not doing any, um, uh, what do you call it, re-restoring re yet? I don't have enough money to buy a car to restore. Still pretty new. I'm only level 8. I only got $17,000. And, uh... So with this one, we'll check out the car status real quick. It says, find and fix any running gear problems. We got a few things in here we know is wrong with it. Front shock absorb cap, rubber bushing, double wishbone, double wishbone. I need wish one of <laughs> You need a double wishbone? Yeah, I need two. Right now. I'm about to get a shock absorber and two double wishbones. Oh, nice. What are you working on right now? Can you guys hear him okay? Uh, yeah, I think I can hear myself pretty fine in the stream. Just making sure. Um... I will say that I'm probably a little bit louder than you in this stream. Are you? Alright, let me turn you down. Then. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm working on a, uh, Dodge Charger right now. Are you on a, oh, you're on a Dodge Charger, I'm on a Viper. Legitness. Yeah. Love it. No problem, man, I'll see you next time, and have a great day at school. Um, uh, yeah, I got all the new DLC. I gotta find out what's wrong with this. Go to, uh, Overview Mode, this will take a look and see. What's up, try me, get to see you, man. Uh, the red parts are the parts that are bad in the car. The green parts are the parts that are in good condition. And the uh, gray parts are the parts we haven't actually examined yet. So if I go into, uh, actually if I click on suspension, right click, go to examine mode. I hit click that and hold. That will examine it and show us that the right, the rear suspension and cross member is, uh, is in good condition. So. Just kind of click on that and go around. You can do that. That's kind of a, I guess you could say, a cheat way of finding out things are working. Um, you could also go into the regular dis dismount mode. And if you see things that are like rusted in here. <clears throat> no problem, Travis. You can watch Twitch, YouTube, doesn't matter. Uh, anything that's rusted looking, that means it's bad. That's kind of the game's way of showing you that the parts don't work. Basically, yeah. So. Although you might not always find what you need, because I had to deal with that earlier. Yeah, that's true. So I usually kind of do a mix. I'm still new to the game, trying to get used to it. So I'll go into this mode and kind of look at find the rusted parts. Plus, I'll use examine mode to find things as well. So, all right, well, guys, we're gonna get to work. And uh, again, send in your chat stuff. If you want to talk about stuff, whatever. We're just chilling. This is what we're doing today. Um, it was a bit different. I've never streamed this before. Never planned on even streaming this. I just was like, you know what? I need to stream today. And this just happens to be what I'm doing. This is what I feel like doing. So this is what I'm going to stream. Yep. Um, but my channel is about a lot of simulators. So this kind of fits in to my channel. Just add into the repertoire. Yep, just add to the repertoire. Man, there's a lot of bad parts in this uh, left rear area. Who's that? Somebody says, contemplating buying F uh, Aerofly FS2019 on iPhone 7. Looks great. Should you buy? <clears throat> That's up to you, man. I mean, it does. It, uh, that is the truth. It does look great. Oh, look at that hubcap. That looks dope. The Dodge Viper logo on it. These are some nice rims. 
Um, it's a pretty easy one though. It's like a, the Arrow Fly FS 2019 is a one-time purchase. Pretty easy. If you don't like it, you just don't play it anymore. All right, let's take these off. How many cars would you say you've done today? <laughs> today? Uh, oh maybe my like god. Ten, just ten cars! And I've already. This, uh, I, got a, I started playing like at 8. It's 11 30. So about to be. Wow. So yeah, it's about 11 40. Yeah, I've learned how to cars. <laughs> Been putting work in, man. Well, I'm sitting at 24. Four thousand dollars right now. Yeah, I got seventeen right now. I'm trying. I guess both of our kind of uh, our goals right now is to. I, I know I didn't take the right rear tire off. I don't think we need to go back there. Actually, we might. Um, our goal is kind of to earn enough money to uh, go and buy us a uh, car to restore from the barn. All right. Hello, beautiful Viper. All right, I'll see you in a bit, Grand Porter. Ah, let's see, let's get this thing done. Oh, I don't want to move it. All right, we know we're going to need some more springs, it looks like. You know, MSC Gaming, I was thinking the exact same thing last night. I was like, is there a game like this that I can play where it's exactly this except planes? I would buy that on the heartbeat. I don't know of any. If you guys know of any, let me know because I want to try it. I know there is one game that um, was sent to me a while back. Remember that game, bro? Uh, what was it called? Yeah. yeah. It was like Squadron 3, 4. Yeah, 303 Squadron. It was supposed yeah. to be like a, a game. It had like, like a. We'll take that out. Like a mission. kind of like it, but it is mission based where you gotta go fly the big missions. And they weren't really all that great. Like. Ace Combat gets a whole lot better <laughs> than what that game is. Yeah, it was an indie game. And it had the ability to like work on the interior of the planes, which was pretty cool. Like I really liked that idea, but it just it was missing something. I'm not really sure what it was missing. I don't know. It's just it didn't have my attention for long. Yeah, we played it like once and never opened it again. Alright, do I need to take this brake pad off to get back here? Alright, rear drive axle looks like it's bad. I think we can get rid of the rear suspension arm. It's pretty rusty looking, but it might be okay. Yeah, we need to get rid of that. Yeah, check it out. 303 Squadron. It uh, is probably not very expensive. Uh, check it out. Check out some gameplay of it. But I know that it has the ability. Um, it has a lot of potential in that game. It's just not quite there yet. I don't know if it wasn't a finished game or not. I think it might have still been in beta. But. Yeah, it might have been earlier access still. Matter of fact, I think it was because I remember uh, sharing my uh, my code but with you. the reason why it was free, too? Yeah, they was wanted us to try it out. That's what it was. Is this beta? Yeah, yeah it's a bad. Uh, you cannot send links. That is a negative. Huh, that's weird. Usually you have to take the whole thing off of the spring. This one you don't have to do that. Huh. You know like usually you have to like do the little spring separator thing? Oh on this for the one car, in the rear you don't. Oh, the rear one you don't do the you don't do that. Yeah, the rear ones you don't. Uh, it also depends on whether it's rear <laughs> rear, front wheel, all wheel drive, I think it was. Okay, I don't know if this is rear wheel drive or front wheel drive, I can't tell, I don't know But typically to... the rear ones you don't, they just come off really I easy. think this is... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> Let's see, rear wheel, I think, it's... yeah, rear wheel drive. It definitely has rear wheel drive. Let's see if it has front wheel drive too. Which one did I take off? I don't think it does, it doesn't look like it does, no it doesn't. It's rear wheel drive only. <coughs> Huh, there's a game called Plane Mechanic Simulator on uh, on Steam. Yeah, send it to me on Discord, bro. I want to check it out. If it's like this, yeah, I'll probably play it for sure. 
much time I put in this game. I have rear sway bar, we need to take that off. But I need to also take off some of this thing. Let me get back here. Let me take this down, sway bar in link, and then we can take the sway bar off. There we go. It's a World War II? Yeah. Thank you, MSC, for confirming that there's a uh, rear-wheel drive. I had a feeling some of you guys might know a bit more about cars than I do. Yeah, I would prefer to work on, like, modern planes. That would be my preference. Like, I'm, I like old planes. Like, I respect... The thing is, for me, I, I respect old, like, World War planes and stuff like that, but it just did not my favorite. <laughs> Uh, it sounds a lot like the game that we were talking about. So it's just, it's just called Airplane Mechanic Simulator or something like that. Uh, let me take some more things off. Like I want to mess with a Boeing 737, you know what I mean? Like a even the modern GA plans would be fun to work with. I'm pretty sure this whole piece is bad, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really bad. We'll get a new one of those. I'm pretty sure we're going to make a really good amount on this car. Because one, it's a, a expensive car. So usually expensive cars have more expensive parts. A lot of them do. Um, plus, we're changing a lot of things in this baby. And see, there's a few parts we haven't discovered yet. So we have to kind of fish through and find what those parts are. But that shouldn't be too bad of a problem. I think we got everything in the rear, though. That's, I think that's a game that doesn't exist, and somebody needs to make it. Plane Mechanic Simulator. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm in body assemble mode, that's why. Something else is in, in here is bad. I need to find it. I don't know if it's in the rear, though. It might, it might be in the front. Yeah, because everything else back here looks pristine. Yeah, I'm trying to find a rubber bushing that I still need to replace. <laughs> oh, so, you know, there are a lot of the rubber bushings are, like, inside of things. Yeah, no. It's a, so it it's could be, like, uh, what's that part? This part of uh, the, um, it might be, like, the bottom suspension arm, because that has, like, th like two rubber bushings in it. And you have to take the whole thing off just to even well, examine just to the rubber bushing. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of taking the whole thing off, we need to take this whole spring off. To do that, I think I just need to do that right there. Oh, you want to be in the United States Air Force? That's cool. And you, you want? Oh, you want to be? All right, cool. So, are you like on track on uh, making that happen? Uh, or what's up with that? How's that going? I right, get this inner tire. Right. There's a lot that we need to change out of this car. Ah, uh, there's just one missing. I don't even see it. <laughs> you found it? Yeah, it's just I forgot to put it on. <laughs> That's funny. It would help, no? Yeah, so yesterday I was, um, was it last night? Yeah, last night we were playing this. This is pretty much, I've been playing, I've been playing this more than x in the, in the last 48 hours. I played this at like 2 o'clock in the morning, though. Did you really? <laughs> I was gonna ask you about that, like, I was like, how late, because I got off pretty early. I got off at like, what, 9? Something like that? But I was playing a hunter at that, at that time. I was gonna ask you, like, how late did you stay up on this? Because you mentioned when we were talking, like, man, I'm gonna end up staying up all night playing this game. No wonder you're, like, way past my level now. <laughs> <laughs> so addicted to it, man. It's just like, man, I wasn't even tired. It's right. funny, like, this is the kind of thing that, like, you know, you would think you would kind of, like, fall asleep to it. Yeah. Oh, I'll take this off. Oh, I made that much? Oh, I gotta do another one. Right. That, that's kind of how it is. That's kind of like the, the thing. It's like you finish it and you're like, alright, that took longer than I thought. Let's do another. Another. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, honestly, because up until now, money has not really been a big deal to me. Like, I've been like, yeah, I just do it because whatever, right? Because I just enjoy, like, learning more about what's in here. Uh, but now I'm trying to actually get some good money off of the stuff that we're doing. 
front sway bar B. I think that should be, uh, nope, this looks pretty bad too. The upper extension arm. Should be able to go ahead and pull that off. Unscrew it there, unscrew it there, and unscrew it there. That's a cool try, me. Did you get the iPad yet or no? I haven't got the iPad. You got the iPad? I don't think they need it. I don't feel like it's it's really <laughs> not. At this point, in, this, in like I don't know where you are, but for me, I don't feel like the iPad is valuable enough to take away one of my level points because yeah. I can if I need to order something I just run over here to the computer you know and I run back like I understand if you have like maybe two or three uh, lifts in your garage you have a massive garage then it makes more sense to have the iPad um, but I, I don't think I don't I don't need it right now yeah that the computer is on the other side of your garage you don't have to walk all the way over there just to just to order a, a, an oil filter you know then yeah exactly then, I guess but still like it's definitely helpful but I just think there's other things that I could use that are more useful than the iPad right now for especially like I want to I think I probably have enough to get it now I haven't checked yet I didn't take these off. I don't think I even need to take. I don't think I needed to take that. Off. Yeah, I didn't need to take that off. All, all this has to go off. Um, but I want to get that. Um, where you get more money. The one you got earlier. For yeah, each job. Like you need transmission job to where you basically had to replace the whole transmission, which is the gearbox. Oh my gosh, it's freaking easy money. Easy money. Yeah, I want to do that. I haven't got one of those yet. It's so funny because I feel like I remember when this game first came out, I was aware of its releasing and I saw some of the big streamers playing it. I just was never really interested like that in the game, you know, like I was like, nah, that's not something I want to be interested in. I wouldn't like that. That was a lie. I wish I would have started way back then. <laughs> I wish I would have started way back then. I mean, now I got it on the sale, of course, but uh, let's see. Pretty sure there's plenty of better sales that we missed at that time. Oh yeah, I'm oh, sure yeah. there are. Let's see, 100% faster screwing and unscrewing, tires, iPad. Yeah, I want, was it this? 5% more income for finishing, finished orders. That's the one we were talking about, wasn't it? Yeah, you're in a little bit more money. Yeah, that's not until the next one. So what level do I get that? That's what I'm wondering. All right, so I just finished this job. Yes, I do need to order the parts. We haven't got that part right now. I'm just uninstalling everything, and then I'm gonna go back and uh, and order the parts here in a second. We've almost gotten everything, I think. Let's see. All right. So just so you know, on this Dodge Charger, I had to replace the suspension to get some suspension handling, and then also repair the gearbox, take the whole transmission out, place a flywheel, clutch, uh, pressure plate, the plate, and a release bearing. Spent. Four thousand dollars and total payout will be ninety four hundred. Bruh, that's good. That's ninety four. Ninety four, so nine thousand four hundred and seventy two bucks. Okay, that's what I was like ninety thousand four hundred. Like, where, 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 where are you getting that kind of money from? Ninety four hundred. <laughs> nine thousand four hundred. That's ninety four thousand dollars. Yeah. All right. So after I finish this, I'm looking for a freaking transmission job. That's what I'm doing. Alright, well, right, so I'm gonna go <coughs> find a car. Make it happen, bro. I got one. Yeah, only one part left to discover. Okay, so we need to find out. There's one more bad part in the car. It doesn't say where it is. I have a feeling it's in the transmission. In this, in the front end of the car. And oh, like, there it is, right there. Sell the old, the old mess too, because like. What do you mean? You get more money because of it. Because of what? Because of the old uh, parts. You can just sell them and get money from that as well. So you're making even more of a profit. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. Like whenever you're replacing the parts for another car, you know? The yeah. old parts, the bad parts. You yeah, can yeah, sell yeah. those parts and just get more money. Yeah, of course. Isn't so that what we always do? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, for those who don't know, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. whenever you take out an old part and replace it with a new part, you keep the old part, and you can see if you can repair it to put it in a new vehicle later, 
or, or you, you can, can sell just it. sell it and make a small little profit off of it. Alright, I think we just found it. No, we have not found the part. The part has not been discovered yet. So one part, this is kind of where we, we keep getting to this situation where it's like one part that is bad that we haven't found. It's really cool though, like going into the engine, seeing how the interior of the uh, Dodge Viper looks. That's really freaking cool. Alright, so let's see. What could it be, guys? What do you guys think? If, see if you guys can help us out. See if you guys can be our assistant today for you guys who are watching. Where do you think we should look? Where is this bad part? There's some kind of rusty edges here. But I think this is still good. What are you looking for? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I just know there's one more bad part. Yeah, if we're oh, there it is. Found it. Found it. It's the front wheel hub. I had a, yeah, I was, this was going to be the first place I was going to look inside of this uh, braking area. So we'll unscrew this. Take off the pad. You know what's funny is I didn't really understand and know the an anatomy of a br of the brakes before this game. Uh, I gotta take this off. Now I can buy this car for sixteen hundred, sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars. What car? Oh yeah. It's a boat cap. <clears throat> I don't really know what it is. I mean, it looks like a nice car, but. It doesn't have my attention. I mean, you gotta put a bunch of barn finds. If you got the money, bro, I would just, like, don't settle, you know what I mean? Alright, dope. I believe that is all the parts. Oh, not that. That is all the parts we have on our order sheet. Yes, sir. We have a long list of parts to order, so let's get started. This baby has been dissected. But I am literally looking forward to restoring something because I feel like that's going to be a whole new challenge. All of this is just getting us ready to know what we need to do for restoring. Alright, we're going to head up to the computer. And I'm hit I. And now we can take a look at my inventory. These are all the things that I took off of that car. Pretty sure I sold everything else. And so, um, the hardest part for me is usually trying to figure out what the heck to order and memorize them. So I just, now what I started doing is just kind of doing one by one by groups so like we need a rear shock absorber a and a rear suspension arm b so i'm gonna go ahead and type rear and here we'll search that under suspension and let's type rear and what do i need again rear shock absorber a my old 1990 computer Rear shock absorber. Was it A? I already yeah. forgot. <laughs> yeah, A. Thank you. So we were also talking that this would be a really dope game if maybe a 2019 version were to come out for this. Um, which is something else I was thinking about. I was like, if this is uh, 2018, would it be... Does that mean there's a new one coming out this year? Like, is there one every year? Like, yeah. like you know, or is, is, there, is there something to look forward to? It's all 2015. <clears throat> So it's all 2015, that's it. Orange Cat, this is MSC Gaming, what's up man? Uh, so rear suspension year by year version. So it's not year by year or it is? I don't know, I didn't see a year by year version, I saw 2015. Okay, was it that's B? That's it. I already forgot. Yes, R and B. But um... Yeah, we're just talking about there's a potential here to for multiplayer. Like, I don't know if that's on their scope, but it'd be really cool if you could have two people, three people, four people in the same garage working on different elements of the, of the same car or multiple cars at the same time, and kind of like all the money goes together and it can do. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty cool. And then, like for example, like maybe we have a garage, and maybe you're not online one day, but I go and continue the car, continue the work, you come back, and the car's halfway done. Yeah, <laughs> you know? that'd be pretty dope. I'm sure that's been mentioned before, but within the actual car mechanic community, but we're not part of that. <laughs> Small rubber bushing. We need uh, just one of them. No, we need. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Okay, we need a bunch of those. No problem, bro. It doesn't matter if you watch on Twitch or YouTube. I appreciate you being here, my friend. Uh, rubber bushing. So we got one, two. Three, four, 
five, six. That's a small one, so we're still at six. So six rubber bushings plus one small rubber bushing and it equals seven rubber bushings, but we're six of six of the regular, one of the small one. So let's get that order real quick. Oh man, Captain Dylan school got canceled. This must be really bad weather where you are or something like that. What's up, Benjamin? Good to see you, man. Uh rubber. So I'm gonna type. Alright, so we need one of these. That's only eight bucks. What do you say? Oh look at old Jeep. And he's six of these. Ooh. Oh, you, you just find a Jeep in a barn? Uh, I found a Porsche 911 Turbo S, but that's like $73,000. Wait, did you, did, did you have, did, okay, okay, okay. In a barn. And that's, that's cool. That's cool. All right, we got the rubber bushings. <clears throat> we got all the, is there only one Jeep. small rubber bushing that we need? I probably Jeep. should do this city? in Alpha. All right, I'm buying this Jeep. I found a Jeep. <laughs> Bro, 10, Jeep is life, man. I don't know how you wouldn't buy the Jeep. Like, I'd be surprised if you don't buy the darn Jeep. Put it in the garage. All right. Um, next, we need. Oh, we need to take these. We take this shock apart. Let's go do that real quick. So we'll go over here to the uh, spring puller and we'll separate this one. Air traffic controller will be flying tomorrow. I was gonna fly today, but I I just wasn't feeling it today, so I didn't. It's a great thing about you know you don't have to do those things. Um, let's see, what else we got? All right, so now that we've pulled that apart, let's see, we'll look at our conditions. We need a double wishbone shock absorber and a front. Shock absorber cap and a front spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wishbone shock absorber first. I'm gonna type in keyword double. And was it the front? I think it was a regular one. I think it was this one. I hope it was. Yes, it was. Uh, next, we need the front shock absorber cap and a front spring. We'll get those together. I do not know what flight I'll be doing tomorrow. Depends on what the event is. Uh, front. Can anybody remind me what I was looking for? I have really bad short-term memory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I literally was looking at it seconds ago and I already forgot what it's called. Usually I get my phone and I just take a picture. Not usually, but sometimes I'll take a picture of everything I need. Front shock absorber cap. We have a lot of parts to order <clears throat> for this car. Let's see, front spring, front spring, uh, front steering knuckle, front sway bar. Oh, there's multiple front steering knuckles. Great, what letter is it? C. Right, this one right here. And we need a front sway bar, which I think is B, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm like super paranoid that I'm gonna get the wrong thing, so I always go back and check and make sure that's what I want. So it is B, bravo. A firm. All right, that is ordered. You know what else would be pretty dope? Is if you were playing multiplayer and you had one person who was ordering things. <laughs> that would be nice. Sorry, that, would be pretty, that would be pretty helpful. Sure. To have somebody like, all right, today I'm gonna order things for you guys. You guys can fix stuff out or get the ordering in for this. Do I smell a game? What do you mean, Benjamin? Uh, what does that even mean? Inner tie rod. We need two of those, and we need. That's it. Just two of those. We need an outer one outer tie rod. So we get two inner, one outer. Just keyword tie rod. Two inner, only 30 bucks each. We got 5% discount, so we get them for 28 each. And one of these. All right, perfect. I think we're halfway down the list. Got a big, big truck shipment coming in. Oh yeah, I am playing a new game. 
A new game that I can't stop playing. <laughs> Rear Axle Knuckle Housing Alpha. Okay. A lot of suspension work today. Rear Axle. Suspension How This this one right here is A. I know one of these days I'm going to buy the wrong part. That's okay. We're just going to sell it back. I'm doing good, Benjamin, man. Thanks for asking, bro. Welcome back. It's good to see you, man, as always. As you can hear, my voice is got a lot better. It's not 100%. You can buy this El Camino, too. Ooh, El Camino. Rear drive axle. Do I want to buy it? Do you, but do you want to? Is it? Is um, it? Uh, which one is it? Darn. Because I don't want too many projects on my hands right now. I'm barely figuring out how to deal with this first one. <laughs> Wait, did you already buy one? I already bought the Jeep. How are you going to buy a second one already? You got space? It's 12000 I mean, but do you have space though in your garage for a second know. project? Uh, Infinite Flight does not have a 737 Max. Not yet. Don't, I don't know if they're going to add one, but... I mean, that'd be cool. Uh, I don't know how difficult that would be. Alright, we got that next rear shock absorber alpha. We've already got one of those actually. Um, rear, rear shock absorber cap. And a rear spring. Alright, so now we're in the back end. It does have a 787 though. Oh no, Ben. What happened, bro? How'd you get violations? Uh, rear shock absorber cap and rear spring. Let's get those two real quick. Shock absorber cap. Shock absorber cap. Shock absorber cap. <laughs> shock absorber cap. I'm gonna repeat it till I see it. There it is. And a rear shock. A rear spring, actually. Not a shock. <laughs> shock absorber cap. Shock absorber cap. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta do that. I gotta do it. <clears throat> yeah, you shouldn't go 20, 253 knots below 10,000 feet. That's a, that's, that's a no-no. Rear suspension arm. Rear suspension arm A and rear suspension arm B. Jesus, all these things. <sighs> okay, so rear suspension arm A and B. Three different parts. That should be pretty, pretty, pretty simple, right? So rear suspect. So we need this one, this one, and this one. Perfecto. All right, next, a rear sway bar, bravo. Oh, no, 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 don't sell it yet. Rear, what the heck was it again? <laughs> sway bar, that's what it was, rear sway bar. It's so crazy, like I'll, my mind, like I'll be like, all right, remember this, remember this, and then that quick, I'll look at something else and forget, just like I did just now, is I forgot what letter it was, it's P, okay. Or I'll start talking about something else. My mind is weird. Okay. So. I was curious earlier. I was like, I, I want to look up how many people are actually streaming Car Mechanics <laughs> Simulator 2018. Like, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like it's that big of a game. Maybe it's bigger than I think. Oh, look at that. We have a second small rubber bushing that we didn't order. Or did we? What if I can repair anything right now? The parts confuse you. Yeah, they, it is confusing, especially when there's a lot of parts. When there's only a few parts, it's really easy, especially like oil change, oil filter, stuff like that. But when you have a ton of parts, it gets confusing. Sometimes I break it up. I'll do the rear end first. I'll do the whole rear end, fix it up, and then I'll go and do the front end, fix it up, and then do the order separately as well. But I think we have enough. If we don't have enough, we'll find out when putting it back together. So what I do is I look at the parts that I have bad and then I look at the parts that I have good <clears throat> and they should be equal to the same because I'm basically just replacing them. So rubber bushing, rubber bushing, rubber bushing. Here's the small rubber bushings. I have one, 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 one. So it looks like we have an extra one right now. <clears throat> what is my favorite game out of Infinite Fight Formula 1 in, in this? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. <clears throat> These are three very different games. <laughs> and one of them is on mobile. 
Uh, okay, I think we're good on small on the bushings because I'm pretty sure I did that right. So we're gonna trust that I did that right. We're gonna go ahead and get a spring cap and a steering rack. So let's get those ordered. Spring cap, steering rack, spring cap, steering rack, spring cap, steering rack, spring cap, steering rack. Okay, there's a spring cap and steering rack. Okay, so I have many what's. Man, this Dodge Viper was jacked up, bro. I don't know what they did to this thing. <laughs> like, what there they was a spark plugs. What'd you say? There's a guy four spark plugs. I'm gonna, <coughs> uh, I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can. So, what are you working on right now? Are you working on the new, uh, on the new, uh, Jeep. your new Jeep project, your new uh, rebuild, or are you working on just another yeah. fix? My new little Jeep project right now. It's a, it's an old Jeep. It's older than the Jeep that I have. Really. Like a CJ, mine's a TJ. So my this Jeep is probably mine's a 2001, the one that I have in real life, my own one Jeep Wrangler that I actually have in real life. This Jeep right now is probably uh, ten years younger than that, or so. Yeah, older. older than that. Yeah, it's an old Jeep. Oh, I got the wrong part. Oh no. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like the music. Harry Seal Johnson, good to see you. I thought the music would help with this game being so slow paced. <laughs> Have some background music, to just hang out if you just want to hang out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Fourteen dollars. How much did I buy it for? Sway bar front end link B. I needed the B version, not the A version. Wow, I got, bro. Just so you know, don't buy the wrong part. You don't get the same <laughs> amount of money for it. That thing cost me $29. I got two of them. I had to sell them both for 14 each. <laughs> That's crazy. I knew, right? I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. We we're going to do it. All right, so the B is what we need. We still need two of those. We, we're going to have to bite that. We lost a lot of money on that. Dang, that sucks. I probably should have just kept it and just sold, use it for another car, but I don't even know when I'm going to use it. I don't have a warehouse yet to save stuff. <clears throat> I dig woofed on takeoff on X plane. When, when was that? Which time? There's been times. It's probably the triple seven. That's the only flight that I've done recently where we that we had a failure on takeoff. Dog, not diff. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, like I don't think you spelled that right, bro. Uh, sway bar rear end link. I thought we already replaced that, but I guess not. So we will go ahead. Oh, we got the front one. Oh, it's right there. I don't need a new one. Upper suspension arm, we already got that. Wheel hub, we don't need that. Wheel hub bearing, we already... We need one more, no? No, I think we already got that. I think we're good, guys, I think. I think we're good, let's go see. Let's go put this car back together. We'll start with the rear end, and uh, and hopefully we got everything we need. Start with the right rear, which I don't even remember anything being wrong back here. We'll switch to part mount. Start searching around for the pieces that we need. I know we need the sway bar, so let's put that in here. Sway bar Bravo, cool, we got that piece. Brand new piece for you. And, oh yeah, we need this uh, little link back here. Just one screw, easy does it. <clears throat> it has been a while, yeah, Harry, since that uh, since that stream. I'll never forget it though. Took off and the engine failed immediately. Had to turn around and land. Uh, flying ba badge. Uh, this game is called Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I'm having some camera problems. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, rear axle knuckle housing. Uh, specs are in oh the description, gosh. my friend. Frantic biggest fan. If you look so at the many screws on this engine block. <laughs> if you look it's at the like very uh, bottom of my YouTube description, you'll find the uh, specs. You could also, I think, type exclamation mark specs. Maybe check with Nightbot. Nightbot could also tell you what uh what my specs are for my computer as well. Oh, we are missing a sway bar in link. That's great. All right, what do we need? Which one is it? Sway bar and link. That's it. I could have, you know, come on. We gotta be ordering these things. Where is the computer? 
Is it specs? Or is it something else? Alright, that was easy to order. <clears throat> Engine head. Yeah, that last piece was crap. <laughs> Benjamin says all he can do is replace a tire on a car. I'm the same way. I can't do all this in real life. This is not my. This is this is not what I do. <laughs> I can do most of it. So it's a good part of it. Yeah, I know you. You're pretty good. I mean, you worked at a shop for a while too. But I've never done any of this kind of stuff. The, the most I can do on a car in real life is change a tire. And I think now because of this game, I can change it to, to, to do the oil myself. <laughs> Thank you, Nightbot. Appreciate it. All right, we're putting the suspension back together, people. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this for a test drive when we finish it, because why not? It's in our it's in our possession, therefore it is mine for now. All right, brakes are all right, so we'll screw it in. And that's the last piece of the brakes. I think that is all back here. Let's just double check, because I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yep, there it is. We're missing the small suspension arm. Bravo. And it's just, oh, we got another little rubber bushing right here we're missing. <clears throat> and that means we're missing some small rubber bushings, so we need a good one, and we have two bad ones. Um, a few parts I definitely forgot to order. Don't don't hire me at a shop and ask me to do this. <laughs> don't 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 tell me, hey, can you go order some parts? Like that's not. No, I'm. I can put I can put it on there. Don't tell me to keep track of stuff. I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, the car was in ter terrible condition for a Dodge Viper. I mean, I guess Dodge Vipers can be pretty old, right? I mean. Yeah. Realistically, I mean, this is a pretty old car, and you know, things can happen to it. So, but yeah, this car was in very bad shape. The suspension, anyways, was the interior looks amazing. That's my favorite part right now. This car is its interior. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff we're missing. I love this. I feel like I'm building a car right now. All right, the shocks are put back together. Let's check underneath, make sure there's nothing we're missing. Bro, this game would be so much fun in VR. I think I told you that before. No, yeah, yeah, definitely would be. Can you imagine somebody walking around their living room just like <laughs> reaching around? <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. All right, I think the rear end is done, guys. I think we're done with the rear end. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. Let's check it. Car status. Rear spring. Alright, so we got some things checked off. The front end, I think, is where the most is, especially with the steering rack and all that. Alright, that's done. I'll go ahead, and I'm actually not going to put the tires back on yet, just in case I have to come back here again. And we'll start on the front end. We'll start with the part that has the least, which is the right side. front knuckle on here and then we'll attach that with the upper suspension arm which is in good condition and then we should be able to put the bottom piece yeah, it's also in good condition all right Benjamin I'll see you next time bro thanks for stopping by my friend Openness. All right, now that that is put together, we can also put. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, steering rack, which is in the middle, right here behind the radiator. Call me Ben. No problem. I'll call you Ben. Ben Ten. <laughs> um, and then we'll do. Let's go ahead and put the sway bar in. The new sway bar. I'm not doing all this in the perfect order. Let's 
So far we definitely were missing some parts. You too, man. Enjoy your day. Thanks for coming by, bro. I'm actually surprised at the amount of you guys who actually did stick around to watch this. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't think my people would actually appreciate this game. No offense. I was like, you know, this is, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how many of you guys are just interested in the in interior, the anatomy of cars. Alan Agosta, good to see you. Welcome to the stream, my friend. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, whether you're interested in it or not. I'm glad you're just hanging out with us today. I'm just, I don't know, I can't stop saying how surprised, I, I, how much I'm just enjoying this, like... Oh, we are missing a piece. We are missing a piece. Again, upper suspension arm. We need one of those. Which one do we need? Just a regular upper suspension car? Uh, working on a Dodge Viper right now, Noah. Sexy Dodge Viper. She's not very pretty right now because she's she's kind of naked. Kind of taking her apart. We're taking her clothes off. Now we're under her carriage. But, um, yeah. Let's go get a... What, I already forgot what we needed. What was it we were getting again? <laughs> Oh, this would be me. This would be me in a garage, just back and forth. What was it I was gonna order? <laughs> what was it again? What do I need? What do they want? Like, no, it's no joke. Like, in my real job, I have to write down everything. Like, if I if I have a vi a, ver a verbal conversation with somebody who's like wanting me to do something for them, I have to have a I have to write down everything because if I don't, I will forget. And I've already forgotten what we're getting. I think it's this. Yes, I hope it is because it's two hundred dollars, and we're not gonna. Be we're not gonna get that back. All right, all right. Now we're sitting at fourteen k, fourteen hundred dollars is what we have in the bank. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed. And we're trying to get enough money to get us a. Uh, there's a bunch of barn finds, like cars you can find in barns to like fix up, restore, and uh, and sell for profit. <clears throat> I'm trying to get to that point. So we can make some more money. We'll still do this, but I'll also be doing those on the side. Or maybe I'll be doing that and do this on the side. That's probably what's going to end up being. What's up, Taff? Good to see you. You're at school right now, but you're trying to watch. Cool. Hey, tell him this is a, this is a shop class. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning. We're doing a virtual uh, virtual class. Virtual, virtual class, guys. Virtual shop class right now. All right. I got to go put that spring together. Before I do, I want to check. I'm going to put everything else together. While I'm here. Right, brakes are ventilated. So, like, you're working on a, a barn find now, right? You're like restoring pieces and whatnot. Yeah, sort of so, are you like stripping it completely apart and rebuilding it from scratch, or are you just going through and like fixing specific parts? So, this is how I plan on doing this. Um. I am taking a few pieces off at a time. So at the beginning I started with the spark plugs and a few other pieces. I went, I checked which pieces were good or not, most of them were bad, so... I bought those new pieces and deleted the piece and sold the pieces that I don't need anymore. Okay. I haven't installed them yet because there's still a bunch I have to take off. So I'm taking a few things off at a time, going to replace them or repair them, deleting the, or uh, selling the old pieces, and then... Uh, going back and taking more pieces off so I don't get lost because I don't just want to take everything apart and be like, okay, I gotta buy this next. Yeah, because you, you need to get lost and you don't figure out what the heck you need. What I have and don't have, and I want to overbuy and stuff, you know, because what's the next time I'm gonna find a car like this? You know? Exactly, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna probably attack it the same way because as you can see now with how horrible my memory has been just with a few of these parts, like. I'm probably going to have to start with maybe the front end or the back end or the engine or whatever and just work my way around. Do you like have a plan of how much of that car you're going to actually restore? Like is there anything good that's left to salvage from it? I mean <clears throat> most of the exterior really looks really well. The interior looks well, the steering wheel doesn't look all that bad, you know. So the interior, eh, there's not really much of an interior because there's not even a top on it. It's just one of those plastic. Uh, Converted convertible jeeps, basically. What's up, Captain Sign? Good to see you. Walking through. Good to see but, you. Uh, the stream. There's not much here that is worth salvaging. Uh, it's either I'm going to replace it completely. It looks like maybe the uh, the frame might be okay, but mostly everything else I'm going to replace. 
All right, we're putting the shotgun now, guys. And that's the last piece for the left front. And we should be able to put the old shock back into the right front because we didn't need to replace one of them. We, just had to, we had to, I think we had to take it out for some other reason. I can't remember why. I hope. If not, I didn't order enough. Oh, wow. Yeah, we need a new one of these. Matter of fact, I didn't take the bad one apart. That's what the problem was. So we're going to take this apart and I have to reorder some pieces. Almost done. This is our last piece. We need to re uh, reorder the components for the spring. <clears throat> put it back together and then put it on the car. And we'll be done. Uh, why does my inventory say I have nothing? Okay, there we go. And I believe we need another double wishbone shock observer. And we need another front. Nope, we, we already have a front spring. We need shock absorber cap. I think that's it. Alright, I'll have to take more stuff off. I'll search wishbone. That's not how you spell it. I think it's, yes, it's definitely the front. And then we need the shock. I was gonna type cap. Okay, there's a bunch of caps. Oh god. Uh, what the heck is it called? Uh, here it is. Front shock absorber cap is what we need. Uh, yeah, so once we finish this car, we'll take it for a, t a little test drive and uh, try it out. There it is. Beautiful. All right. We'll take it to the spring puller. Is that what it's called? Yeah, spring puller. We'll join those parts together. We'll watch that do its job. It basically, like, I guess, pulls a spring so that it does a certain thing. I, don't know. I know that's a big deal when it comes to tuning your cars. I wonder if you get more option later on. Thank you. Who's that? <laughs> uh, Orange Cat for the follow. Thanks for supporting on Twitch. Thank you, my friend. Almost fixed, yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, let's put this in. Was it this side or the other side? That's the other side. Let's see how much we make for this. This guy's gonna get charged big time. <laughs> this dude's about to pay. <laughs> I mean, he got a Dodge Viper. He got money. Whoever this is, they got money. He got it. He got it. He's like, no problem. We'll go ahead and do an oil change for him too, since he's gonna be spending so much money. And we do free oil changes here for all of our customers. There it is. And we'll go put that back. Oops, sorry, did that. And we'll go put all the wheels back on, starting with the back. Oh, I love these tires and the Viper, bro. Oh, the wheels on the Viper is so nice. It's like black matte color with the Dodge Viper logo on the hub, on the uh, little center hub. Oh shoot, are we missing something? I only put the wheel on. Must be missing. Oh, we're missing this little piece right here. Such a small detail. I see something else we're missing, but we still can't put the wheel on. So, remember earlier, bro? I was like, I wonder if they'll let you put the wheel on when you forget stuff. Well, I just found out, and that's a negative. <laughs> negative. You have to make sure everything has to be there. Now I gotta find out what we're missing. There's one more piece. Oh, look inside your. Uh, oh, it's the in there. Thank you. There. I, so as soon as you said it, I thought about it. I was like, you know what? It's probably in there. There should be like a, a thing. And there we are. The wheel bearing hub, whatever it's called. Yeah, there's like a wheel bearing and a wheel hub. There's like two or three pieces in there. These rims need to be clean. <clears throat> Alright, now we do the front. Serpentine belt B. Uh oh, I'm missing something. Oh, same thing. Exact same thing here. I'll actually find out that one of these pieces I didn't even order. <laughs> these little bitty nuts. The 
legit. Oh, this thing's starting to look good again. All right, we're missing something here. Oh, same thing. Oh, oh, and I'm missing a wheel hub bearing, of course. All right, well, we'll go ahead and order that. Wheel hub bearing. There she is. Eleven bucks. I'll pay it. You sold me. On what? No, it's eleven bucks. I'll pay it. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a hard bargain there. I'll take it. You sure you don't want to do eight? Eight ninety five. All right, so let's take a look at the worksheet, and we should be done. Oh, we're missing something. We're missing, we're missing two rubber bushings. How did they let me put this car together if I'm missing two rubber bushings? Oh, this is what you need to do. Uh, hit the star on there. Hit the star on the, on the checklist, uh -huh. and it'll help you. Oh, it'll show it me where it's at. Oh, that's a nice little cheat. All right, done this stuff. Probably. Do I have to be in a certain mode to see that? Yeah, go to repair or whatever. Make sure you click on it. You gotta click on the car first. Maybe oh, there it is. There's one of them right there. Wow. Wait, did I have to? I have to replace that. Yeah, I didn't even replace that. Let's see. There's one in the back too. If I can get back there. Yeah, there's two rubber bu bushings that I need to replace. Dang it, man. I gotta take all that apart again just to get to that. <laughs> Alright, well, that's in the left front and the right front, so that shouldn't be too bad. So. Okay. I wish I knew that before I uh, put the wheels back on. I wish I, mean, <laughs> I, wish I was getting paid uh, for my time. See, how long have we been going? Sure. I want to see how long it took me to do this car. <sighs> it has been an hour. Wow. So we've been live for a whole hour and I've been working on the same car. That's, that's, I've actually never timed how long it's taken me to do things on here. <laughs> and I've always kind of been curious, like, how long am I really spending on this game? All right, thankfully, we don't have to actually take anything apart to get that bushing out. What about this one? I think it should be the same way. What's up, uh, Mathis Cork Cork and I? Good to see you, bro. Nice, super easy. So all we gotta do is get two of those um, replaced. Actually, let me go find out what the name of that thing is. I I actually, I actually didn't need to take the tire off to get that <coughs> rubber bushing. They're just two regular rubber bushings. Let me make sure it's a regular bushing in the back. Yeah, I could have left the tire on and even did this. Yeah, it's regular. Alright, cool. So we'll go get two more regular... I mean, you know, of all the things you could probably stock up on, I feel like rubber bushings is one of those things. Why did the music stop? I just oh you know why? The mix was an hour long. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. That is so funny. That is so funny. Okay, well let me play it again because I actually like that mix a lot. I'm gonna start it over. <clears throat> Alright, all we need is a rubber bushing. That is it. Let's go ahead and search that. I was like, why is it so quiet all of a sudden? I need two. Orange, you follow me on Instagram? Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, let's put this in. Freaking mechanic might be going on lunch break soon. <laughs> Thankfully, it was two very small, easy things. It wasn't anything massive. We didn't have to actually go and take anything apart to put these in. I am thankful for that. Okay. All right, we should now be 100% good. 
complete. Before I put the wheels back on, let's check the work order again. All right, wow, we spent a lot of money on this order. We're really not gonna make that much profit. Spent $3,100 just on parts. That's a lot. <laughs> and we're gonna get total payout 5,691. So it's only about 2,000-ish profit. So it's not amazing. It's, it's okay, 2,000, you know, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's just not, you know, I was kind of hoping to you know, kind of double, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe 6,000 or something. Um, all right, let's go ahead put the wheels back on. Dopeness. You know what I should have done? I should have got a screenshot. While I was doing this. I need a screenshot for the thumbnail afterwards. She's all done. What do you mean front wheels have different size? What, what? does that mean? Oh no. <laughs> what do you mean the front wheels is a different? Did I put the wrong wheels? Oh my god. Why would it let me put the wrong wheels? <laughs> Oh, you what? No. All right, you got to take all the wheels off because I don't know. Test it. Test it, like drive it. It won't it let me. Like, it, it won't let me take the like. It won't let me put take it off of the lifter <laughs> because oh. it says that the wheels are not the right size. All right, so that wheel looks right. That's a that's a big fat wheel right there. I think it's that. Yeah, look at that left one is not the same width. So I think the right. We put the wrong wheel. I didn't know that was something I had to pay attention to. I mean, obviously in real life you'd have to pay attention to that. <clears throat> so the fat wheel goes in the back. Let's find out what wheel's on the front right. On the, on the right, I mean. Uh, how do I look okay, at that? Okay, so... How do I look at that? Heart mount? I mean, what is this? I mean, chain, ice, and B. Oh, so many weird letters. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't really let me choose. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, here we go. All right, yeah. So here's a bigger wheel right here. <laughs> the 30, 35 30R19 is the other rear wheel that I need to put on. <coughs> Legitness. All right. Well. Now I know when working on Dodge Vipers, I'd have to pay attention to the size of the wheels. Because <laughs> before this, I've never had a car that had different size wheels in the front and in the back. That's what I get for buying the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Send it back to the customer. They're like, what the heck is wrong with my car? It's turned to the right. <laughs> like one side higher than the other for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, I rotated uh, them for you. <laughs> I rotated the wheels for you. Oh, uh, let me see. Make sure your left turns were a whole lot easier than normal. Yeah, you know what I mean? I had you set up for the oval track. <laughs> Alright, let's put the thing down. No, oh, down, not up. Good way to spend a snow day, yes sir. Speaking of snow days, I actually attempted to do a flight on X-Plane this morning out of Nebraska and it was snowing like crazy so I assume it's snowing in real life because that's how I have my game set up all right let's go ahead and move this baby back oh, that's a cool view isn't that a cool view that's such a cool view that is so cool looking all right let's go move this we're gonna move this to the uh, garage door <clears throat> All the doors. Let's okay, so I need arm B one six B and arm A one six.
You know what's really good? Is that I'm listening to the stream in the background and what I can do is literally say what I need Go into the computer and just wait a couple of seconds for me to say it again in the stream Good for you <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning bro, pay attention Alright I need to do it for myself <laughs> RMB 16B, RMA 16B. I don't know where these pictures go that I'm taking right now. Oh, this car is so sexy. <laughs> that is super effective. Bro, you need to start streaming this more often together. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, that is so helpful, oh my god. <laughs> Can I get like up, up here somehow? These screenshots are for the thumbnail, guys. FYI. Wow, you don't have school tomorrow either? Good luck. I mean, good for you. Alright, that should be alright, I guess. That's enough. <sighs> alright. I need cam gear, i6b, and crankshaft fully V8. Crankshaft fully Hold on, my wife is texting me. <laughs> Might need to send her some moolah. Okay, uh, set this thing for a test drive. Uh, I'll take it to the abandoned airport. <clears throat> no oil change. Oh, right. I forgot to put oil back in it. I'm a horrible mechanic. <laughs> well, here you go, uh, sir. We uh, finished your car. There's no oil in it. Why won't it start up? I want to see if it'll start up, actually. Let's see if it'll start up with, uh, before I put oil in it. Start, start the car. It works. Yeah, it started with no oil in it. I was probably killing the engine right now. <laughs> All right, where is the oil? There it is. Thankfully, I don't have to put it back on the jack thing. So I get oil in it. All right, we're gonna put plenty, more than enough. Oh, I overfilled it. <laughs> Way overfilled it. Alright, we should now officially be done with this car. We can now go and take it. I wanna, I've never done the take it for a drive thing yet. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay, I just drive it. Uh, workshop maps. What is that? Workshop map. What is workshop maps? What does that mean? Test track, car salon, junk care. We'll take it to the abandoned airport. I think I like driving there. <laughs> ola, ola, oh. They do need to work on the car sound. These cars sound better. Bruh, burning rubber. <laughs> Alright, we're about 150 kilometers an hour. I have no idea what that translates into. I assume it's fast. Suspension, I guess it feels better. I don't know. Eighty miles an hour. Thank you very much. One hundred and fifty is eighty. Dang. Bam. Oh, don't tell the owner I hit that scratch on there. Is my dog bark. No 
what they say, drive it like you stole it. <laughs> you know, it's really good that they don't simulate when you crash the car on test drives. Alright, that's enough. I really can't believe it took us an hour to fix that car. Like, I, I just, I'm, I'm really just surprised it took that long. <clears throat> Some cars it takes, like, you know, five minutes. Some of the cars actually do take an hour. In this case, I kind of expected this car to take a while to, to work on because, um, is there a scratch on the front? No, no scratching. Looks good. Yeah, can we beat that thing up? All right, let's go ahead and send it back to the owner and we'll move on to our next job. <sighs> All right, everything is done. Everything is checked off. Let's hit finish order. We should make $5,600 on that. And yes, we just did 56,000 is what we got. We're still level 8. I don't think we got any more levels. So we got a lot of money or decent. Oh, wow, we got $20,000. What? I, mean, I didn't get $20,000. I now I have $20,000, I should bro, say. Bro, I'm like, dang, bro, what job did you do? Let me in on that secret. I know, I need to find one of your jobs, bro. One of those uh, freaking transmission jobs. Let's see if I can find one of those. Let's see if we got anything to work on the bench. No, we'll go ahead and sell everything we got. That we got off of that car. It'll get us not really much money at all. We got four dollars for that, two dollars for this. We'll probably get fifty dollars in total. Uh, sell parts. Sell parts that are conditioned below fifteen are equal. Let's do below fifty. <laughs> oh, bro! I found a faster way to get rid of stuff. Oh, we have an extra rear suspension arm. Crap. Oh well, I'll just keep it. I'll probably use it sometime. All right, we got a case. Let's see what we got in the case. <clears throat> it's like a rim. Head cover for the engine, ignition coil. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all that. How much can we get? 145 for that. All right. 116 for that, and 151 dollars for that. And this is not gonna go for much. So I'm gonna keep that part. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep that part. All right, what's our next job? Um, we got twenty thousand. That's a okay amount, but I mean, how much did you pay for the thing you're working on right now? The what? You, uh, your Jeep or whatever it is you bought that you're working on. How much did you pay for that? No, I mean, I paid ten thousand, I think, for Jeep. Well, ten thousand. That's it. Yeah. Wow. I don't know, Jeep. Alright, what do you guys Awesome. I want I want transmission, man. I want transmission. Lack of engine parts. Replace all filters. Tapping sounds and engine bay repair all running gear fault. Oh, there it is. Car is hard to control. Oh wait, that's not the same thing. That's a different kind of gear. Uh, this is brakes on a Dodge Challenger. I will decline that. Uh, we got a turbocharged something. It's a suspension job, I'll decline that. This one is a engine and suspension job. Uh, yeah, that's the not... Engine, that's the one you might make a lot of money on. You might make a lot of money on that one, you say? Yeah. Change yeah, engine the oil. Engine and suspension. Okay, I might pick that one up then. Repair Fix. all gearing faults? Yeah, I would take the engine. Yeah, I thought the gearing faults was like more of like the little like... Uh, thingies. Alright, we'll go ahead and pick that one up before it goes... Oh crap, did I just... Where'd it go? Oh, it's this one right here. Oh, it's a Porsche. Oh, oh, a nice Porsche too. All right, I'll take it. It'll be good on my uh, on my resume. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What kind of car is this thing? What is this? Is that a, a Camaro GT? Porsche Camaro GT. Oh, wait. They didn't take very good care of it. Look at all that dirt and stuff on the rims and. I'll see you next time, man. Appreciate you just stopping by, man. We'll probably do one more car before I end the stream. I don't know how to stop playing this game. There's there's no stopping points for me. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could end it here. You know what I mean? And I could technically do that. Um, but why? why would you? But why? But I want to do another car. <laughs> oh. You continue playing. Might as well continue streaming, like. It's true. Like I'm. Like I'm. Like, if I stop streaming, I'm gonna be still playing this. So. I might as well stream it. You know, why not? Why, why not stream it? I don't know. 
Anyways, uh, let's see. Replace tapping stones, gear, cars. All right, so we're going to send this to the uh, uh, test path real quick. Cannot start. In oh, wow. That's interesting. How to start 101 Alt F4. <laughs> I mean, how to stop. So interesting, bro. So this car is so bad that it won't even. Oh, right. That's a trunk. The engine's in the back. The car is so bad that it won't even start. And I can't send it to the test path to, to test the suspension because it won't start. Interesting. That's the first time that's happened. It gives me a. Let me see. Does it? Partial list. Uh, Not a list. list. Something. It gives me a partial list. Wow. That's a. This. This might take another hour. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, I can't send it to the test path. The test path helped me test the brakes and suspension. So we're just gonna have to manually find all those parts. That's okay, I'll move it to the lifter. And, uh. Yeah. We should get some good money on this one. After this one, I'm probably gonna try to get me a barn fine thing. If that's all possible. Uh, so we know we have some engine issues, so I'm gonna pop the hood. Which I gotta get used to, that's in the back. And we'll go ahead and lift this thing. So weird. The engine's gonna be in the back of the car. I'm not. That's just. That's so weird to me. All right. So from from just looking at it, I can see that there's a few obvious parts in the engine that are not working. And those are the things that it listed already. So there's a lot more things that it has not listed. Uh, I'm so used to going to the front of the car and looking, but it's, this is not that kind of car. Let's lift it up all the way, and uh, we'll take a look at the suspension first. <clears throat> and then we'll dig into the engine. I might do the engine first. Oh, I can already see that's bad right there. Front drive shaft F. Actually, I think we have one of these. Uh, shocks look like they're pretty bad as well. Yeah, so we're gonna need a bottom suspension arm. We're gonna need a another double wishbone shock absorber. Uh, here we're gonna need another steering rack. Those are really expensive. Um, as well as the inner rod. Wow, both springs are gonna be, be need to be replaced and the upper suspension arm. And it looks like the front steering knuckle B is gonna be, be replaced as well. What else do we have in here? This thing, bro, this thing has two radiator fans. I mean, I've never looked at a supercar like this before, so this is just different to me. As a matter of fact, it has three radiators. This car has three radiators. I have never seen that before. <clears throat> Alright, what else do we need to find? This is, the front. is it front? It looks like it's a uh, rear wheel drive as well. Alright, we'll look at the suspension first and then we'll look at the engine. See if we can find everything. My, I think that brake caliber is okay. I don't think they want a new one. Uh, definitely a new oil filter. That one is nasty. Um, I don't see the spring is good there. Rear exhaust Carrera GT. So I think all the suspension problems are in the front of the car. And then we have engine problems in the back. So let's tackle one at a time because I have problems with the thing. So we're just gonna do the engine first because I'm just I just wanna see the engine in this thing. <clears throat> I'm just excited to see the engine. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look at the car stats one more time. Ignition coils and fuel rail. Um, air filter, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter. Uh, gear faults, we don't know what that means. Car hard to control, we haven't found that yet. Actually, we have found it, we just haven't taken it off yet. You know what? We'll, 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 we'll stay with the engine. We'll stay with the engine. Right, so here's a fuel filter right here, we'll take that out. And here's the ignition coils. We only need one, I guess. Oh, yeah, I have the scanner I can use. I forgot about that. Go back 
outside of here. And we use the uh, OBD scanner. What that means, I don't know, but I know that it scans things and tells me that it, it they're broken. That's all I know. Let's see. Yeah, ignition coil, ignition coil, ignition coil, ignition coil. Cool. Uh, what else? We'll use the other scanner, which is the electronic meter. Uh, we're building. We're not building anything. Technically, we're repairing a uh, Porsche Carrera GT. Another really nice car. This is like our. We're doing like, like this stream has been all supercars. Before me doing this stream, I've only done like regular old <laughs> crappy cars. I just happened to find a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, there's some bad ones on this side too. Okay. So real quick, if you want to see it. This is our next job. Okay. I need two hot caps and one, two, two crankshaft bearing cap. So I don't think we need all of these. Oh, here's a rail that we need. It can be examined by taking off car. Okay. I just take it off. Okay. Only one of them, but the other side looks fine. <clears throat> the rest of these ignition coils look good. Let's check this one down here. Yeah, that's good. We're going to the other side of the engine. And these are rusty. Oh, rusty. That should be all the ignition coils. I only need four of them. Yeah, four and a fuel rail. So we got that. That is all they have for the engine section. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those right now. Before I wait, did we get the filter? I didn't get the filter. Yeah, we didn't get the filters. Let's get the air filters, and oil filters. <clears throat> That's gonna be on the bottom. We're gonna need to lift it, most likely. Yeah, it's down there. There's an oil filter. Oil filter's back here. The air filter's probably going to be near the radiator, maybe. This is a nice engine. Look at this engine. Wow. Very cool. Okay. Oh, wait. This is the air filter right here. I thought it was on the bottom. It's actually on top. Right, let's go ahead and take that off. I think we need to replace both of them. Yeah, look how dirty that is. Oh wow, that was very dirty. Yeah, we'll take that out. And we're still gonna need to lift the car to get to the oil filter. Let me send this one here. All right, it should be right there. I think that is all of them. So we got air filter, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter. We got, we got, we got everything. Cool, we're good. Let's go order those, and I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna do the engine first, and then we'll go and do the suspension and order them separately because I always forget things. <clears throat> so what we need is fuel filter. Um, we'll do the filters first. Fuel filter, oil filter V10, and air filter V10. I'm not gonna remember that. I don't know. Air filter V10, I need two of them. Where is it? There it is. Uh, oil filter. Let's do air filter first. Oh, we already did that. Oil filter. Oh, I need this properly search. Filter. And narrow down this. Alright, I have the whole engine out of this. Do you have an engine uh, stand thing yet? I do, but I don't know even how to use it. Hmm. Me neither. Here it is, we need oil filter V10. And then we need fuel filter. There it is. Fuel filter is basically the same in every car. Doesn't change. And let's go ahead and install those parts. Piston Conrad and Piston Ray. Oil filter goes here. <clears throat> uh, and then everything else will be More accessed by the top engine bay.
Give me a second. Just send some money to my wife for lunch. Denzo. Alright, where is it at? Alright, here's the filters. There's one of them. Look how clean that looks. Nice. It's probably there's no clips or nothing to put on there. And here's the other filter. Perfect. Alright, cool. So we got those. Check the list. And it should show that we've already replaced all. We're missing the fuel filter. Where's the fuel filter go? Fuel filter goes. I can't remember where I found it. It's, it's on top somewhere. There it is, right there. Right now, our tech car says we'll see that the filters have all been replaced. <coughs> We're not done with the engine yet, though, because there's a tapping sound, he says, coming from the engine bay. We haven't discovered what that is yet. Uh, there's also some gear stuff that might be, so that might be in the gearbox, I hope. Because if it is in the gearbox, that means good money for us. Um, car is hard to control. That's going to be a suspension in the back end. We already know what those are. And ignition coil. We haven't replaced those yet. So we could replace those. That's kind of part of the engine, and we're going to take those out again anyways. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and find out what the tapping noise is in the engine. Can we get to the gearbox without taking the engine apart? Engine's locked. I don't know. We're just going to take everything apart. All right, what do I need to do to take this out? Intake manifold. Something else has to be moved. Never done an engine like this before, so I don't know what needs to be moved first. Probably these end parts, right? Let's go ahead. I got, we probably have to take this whole part of the thing apart. I'm just going to take it apart piece by piece. I have no idea how to do this. Oh, you know why? I'm in the wrong freaking mode. I'm in put stuff on mode, not put take stuff off. Alright, here we go. So we need to take the uh, throttle off. I'm right, going to take the air filter off again. <coughs> so I should have just left that off earlier. Then take the throttle off. Unscrew that, unscrew that, unscrew that. And do the other side as well. Throttle coming off. Uh, I feel like it might be the uh, camshaft or something. Not really sure. I've only done this type of job like one time. Oh, look at all these screws. So many screws. I like how when you're taking the screws out, there's an actual reflection. <laughs> throw that in the toolbox, throw that in the toolbox, and boom. Wow, there's like nothing under there. <laughs> <coughs> the whole piece comes off and there's just nothing underneath. This off and take these off. We're taking this engine off piece by piece. Take all the ignition coils off. Finally putting this engine back together. You what? This is just the engine. I haven't even touched the suspension or exhaust and all that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing my own, my own, uh, what do you call it? Restoration, I guess you would call it. Basically, yeah. Oh, that looks, oh, there it is. We found one of the problems. This little rusty, rusty spark tube right here. Camshaft cap. Not even the camshaft, just the cap. That couldn't be causing a knocking noise. I wouldn't think. I guess it could. Because the camshaft is moving pretty quickly. The spark plugs look good. You know, honestly, I didn't know the spark plugs were there. I honestly never knew where the spark plugs were. I had no idea it was in there. I take the other engine cover off. <clears throat> we're finding things.
I'm really happy. I've only coughed a few times this spring. Oh yeah, that looks that looks very oily. I'm trying to see if I find anything that's rusty. So all that black stuff is just old oil. I guess not. That doesn't mean it's bad. Have as good as I thought. Both of them should be good. Let's check uh, car status again. Yo, camshaft V12. Oh, so the tapping sound was a camshaft cap. So we really shouldn't have to go any deeper than this in the engine, but there is still some gear problems. And that's probably in the transmission, which is right here. Gearbox. So let's see if I can take the gearbox apart without taking the engine apart. I gotta do all this. Let's take these wheels off in the back. I might have to jack this up some more to even get to it because for me to get to the gearbox it looks like it's saying I have to take the uh, rear drive axles off. I think I can take it off without going down there. Yeah, I can. Let's hope I didn't have to jack it up anymore. <clears throat> the rear drive axles should be fine. Oh, the screws. Uh, accessible under the car on lifter. Okay, so I have to lift it to get to the gearbox. Ah, uh, poor little uh, Porsche Carrera. <laughs> it's gonna be nice when we get done, though. All right. There's the engine, and here's the gearbox. Oh wait, should I? I should probably drain this first before I get oil in my face. Nice, I put it in the right place. I was like, oh, it's engines on the other side. Is it going to go to the right place? <laughs> Have you done a, uh, a rear engine car yet? I think you have. Uh, you, sure you have Paganini, haven't you? Or whatever it's called. There's never yeah, I've done a few already. Alright, cool. So now let's get this gearbox off of here. There's the oil pan. Here's the gearbox. I'm gonna have to take some more things off. The starter. There we go. This is a huge gearbox. Is it gonna take this whole thing off? I don't know if you've been doing this, but I've been like moving my head around like a whole lot. <laughs> Okay, so, wow, that whole gearbox just came off, just the whole thing. Um, I don't think that was it, though. No, it was not it. We haven't found a single of the faulty parts in the repair all gear faults. Car is hard to control, okay, let's do that. Alright, we'll keep digging then. We don't know what the problem is yet. We'll charge them for our time, don't worry. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully, unlike the last time I had an issue like this where I had to find something, I was in the complete wrong place. It ended up being the radiators and random. Let's go just take a real quick look at the brakes and stuff. What's up, Daniel? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. We're just fixing some, doing some car work today. Everything. 
I've already looked at this stuff. I'm just double checking to make sure that nothing's wrong with it. What's up, Ninja Gamer? Good to see you, my friend. Can be examined on a test path. Okay, I can't get it to text path because the car won't start. I don't know if those things are anything wrong with it. Don't think anything's wrong with it. Exhaust section. Such a cool engine, though. Like, I feel like the people who design these cars, they also design the engine look. Because <laughs> the engine just looks so cool. Like, does it really have to look like this? <laughs> Do you have to have all these tubes going these different ways? You can't just have all of them going in a regular rainbow thing? Alright, uh, let's see. What is it, though? It says gears. It could be like, oh, like, there's a cam gear here. Alternators look good. All this down here looks good. This is the engine, though. Taking the entire gearbox off, and it was nothing to do with the gearbox. The gearbox is fine. Let's go look under the clutch cover. <clears throat> Here's a clutch. There's a camshaft. I don't think we can take off yet. No. All right, we're just gonna have to take this thing apart, guys. We're gonna we're gonna go all the way inside this engine. Which is fine. Let's go ahead and do that. First, to do that, we take the spark plugs off. What do I have to take off to get back there? Take this off. Take this off. Take that off. Oh, I have to be above it. That's why. Um, Daniel, I'm not making a car. I'm actually repairing a car. I'm, um, I'm trying to save the money to restore a car, and eventually we'll make our own car, I guess. So I think you can like make cars, right? Kind of like, you can kind of like start from yeah. scratch and just make one. I don't know if you have to start with a body or something, but eventually the game allows you to make your own car. But I've only had this game for just under two days, or just over two days, something like that. Been really enjoying it. Yeah, we're taking this whole engine apart just to see what the issue is. And there's a lot of small parts in these engines to take out. It's gonna make this even more confusing when we finally find that part. <laughs> we're gonna have to order what we need. Matter of fact, I might take a break here from taking things out and go order the parts I already need before I have more parts to order. I know, poor car. It's a nice car. It's nice as a Porsche. But, uh, it's seen better days. Right now we're going through the camshaft section of the engine. There's just a lot of little things holding it in here. Oh, we okay. I have finished all the engine, gearbox, transmission area. Yes, sir. Now career report. Started on the front suspension. Oh, we got all these screws. Jesus, a lot of screws. <coughs> Screw this game. Just kidding. This is only the right side of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has two heads on it. Oh, what do I need to do now? Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, look at this. What? Oh my god, I'm literally dissecting this thing. Racing, flying, or fixing? What's best for me? <laughs> Um, probably flying after that racing and then fixing. Fixing probably not even on the list. I'm, I'm not. Really, this game is extremely helping me to fix these things. If it, if it weren't for all the, the the aids that it gives me, I would not be able to do this. Okay, so we need to get under the head to find what we need. But in order to get there, we gotta take that thing off. The uh, what's it called? Timing the engine. 
timing chain. We need to get the timing chain off. And in order to get that off, we gotta get the timing cover off. To get the timing cover off, we gotta get this. <laughs> I need an engine holder, bro. I need to get this thing out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, alright. I am. This is gonna be just like last night when I have to take the engine completely out. This is way more complex than the first car we did. I was gonna take everything off. Oh wow. This is why we play this game though. <laughs> this is why. Uh, Ninja Gamer, I am from Houston, Texas, in the United States. I'm hoping that I'm gonna like take one of these covers off and just like low key see like something like for real broken, but nothing's been broken. I mean, the chain has a shoe. Good to know. Mm, break drum. Just so you know, bro, don't build a Porsche. <laughs> okay. Something like you, something like you. Wow. Make sure you have an open bay <laughs> for a Porsche. All right. Oh, why can't I take this off? I got seven orders on the phone right now. I can't answer any of them. There we go. Now I should be able to take these out. No. Nope. There we go. I can finally get the engine head off of the right side of the engine. There it is. Still nothing to be seen. <clears throat> the pistons look good. Are my parents proud of me? What a question. <laughs> uh, I believe so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope they are. They said they were. So. Wow, I'm really dissecting this whole engine. I didn't think I had to go this far. What if I don't? What if I really don't have to go this far? Again. What if, it's re what if it really wasn't that big of a deal? What if I didn't? This has to be like the most inconvenient thing to do though, because I don't have this on the engine stand or nothing. I'm just like tearing this engine apart in the car. <clears throat> I'm really hoping that I'm going to uncover some madness under here. Because if not, I took this whole thing off for no reason. Uh, Luca Romano, what's up, man? Good to see you. I was gonna stream X Plane today, um, but I honestly did not feel like it, so I didn't. Um, so next time we'll probably see an X Plane stream will be most likely next week. So since it's Thursday already, tomorrow I'll be doing Infinite Flight for Friday Night Flight, uh, which means that I don't have any more space to do any other games this week. Yeah, I don't usually stream this. I really, when I bought this game, I was never planning to stream it. I really didn't even know how I was gonna like it. I was just kind of like, eh, it looks interesting. I kind of want it. Like, I, I don't know, something about it is pulling me towards it, and I just, I, I finally went ahead and got it. And since, since I've downloaded it, I've not been able to turn it off. <laughs> <clears throat> no matter how complicated the fixing process is. I know I need two new rams. USA is the most sleep paralytic country in the world. I don't know what that means. So in case you, if you think this game it looks interesting, I'm just warning you. If you download it, you will be probably addicted to it. <laughs> I get it. It's, it's like one of those games that you just don't expect to enjoy as much as you will. Wow, I am seriously taking this engine completely apart. No, I keep saying that, but I'm just still surprised that I'm doing this right now. <laughs> I have not found it, bro. I still have not found the issue. 
I feel like the issue should have shown itself by now. Let's take a look. Car status. Gear all repair all running gear faults. What the heck does that mean? This car is gonna be a shell when we're done. Alright, so in order to get the engine block off, we need to take off the camshaft. And before we take the camshaft off, we need to take off the oil filter. So we gotta do this from underneath the car. <clears throat> Poor Porsche. Sitting up on blocks. Uh right, over here, take this off. I'm not sure why that needs to be off exactly. Uh, I guess I gotta take this off. Oil pan. That makes sense. I75. I'm gonna laugh if it's under here because if it's under here, I never needed to take all the other crap off. Alright, this looks good. I'm looking at the underneath the engine. The camshaft looks great. There's nothing under here that shows that it needs to be replaced. I'm starting to think that this is not where our problem is. In fact, I was starting to think that a long time ago. <laughs> we'll do a quick uh, examination view of this. I-75-45. <clears throat> <clears throat> I just got the uh, Explorer achievement, bro. The what? Explorer achievement. Oh, really? I guess because I've, I've torn up apart like three engines now. Hopefully I put it back together correctly. Am I a gamer? Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I enjoy like every game. Not every game, that's a lie. I definitely enjoy lots of games. Do not like Fortnite. Except Fortnite. Everything but Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move my attention somewhere else. Um, let's go do the suspension. We'll come back to that. We know what the, what's wrong with the suspension, so we're gonna do the suspension. We have a ton of parts in in the toolbox right now, which is crap. Um, let's take the wheels off of here. Oh, these are some nice wheels. Authentic Porsche rims. So we know we need to replace that thing right there. So I can take that off without getting all this other stuff in the way. Wait, I need to take the sway bar off. We don't need a new sway bar. We just need to take it off for the link for the sway bar just to get to what we want. <clears throat> I think we need a new spring as well. Probably need a new upper suspension arm. I right, see you later, Ninja. Thank you, man, for uh, stopping by, hanging out, chatting. Oh, crap. Seems legit. Our entire mod rod. I'm just tearing things apart. I'm like, I don't care. Just go. This goes. Throw this away. Throw this away. I feel like right now. I don't think we need to do anything in the brakes, even though it's not even connected. Oh, this left side is nasty. What'd they do this car? It was the owner. <clears throat> Alright, we definitely need a new steering, steering rack. Yes, yeah, 10% wear. That's good. And get the spring. It's the double wishbone spring. We're also gonna need the upper suspension arm. And the steering cover. And the only way to get to that is to take this whole thing apart. Oh, wheel hub bearing needs some uh, replacing too. Uh, let me take this off. 
It's so weird how I turn my head. Like it's not like I can actually look around with my head. Like that doesn't do anything. I don't know why I'm turning my head. Like with like it's funny like when we were playing Ace Combat we had the same problem. Like looking around, <laughs> uh -huh. like it actually does anything. I think it's just a sign. We just need VR. That's it. That's all it is. It's getting our heads and our necks ready for VR. All right. Front steering knock. I right, just take a look real quick of if we found everything. Um, Alright, steering rack, inner tie rod. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Something what? told me. Something told me to do the suspension first. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I was looking for was in the suspension, not in the engine. <laughs> we did not need to tear apart the engine, because the whole problem was in the suspension. Wow. Should have went with my gut. We are still missing one part. It's probably like a bush or a bushing thing or something somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. That's hilarious. Can't believe I took apart the whole engine and it wasn't even the engine. Can't believe this, man. So next time, before I tear apart an engine, I'm going to look at everything else first. Because it would probably, I mean, it mentioned that there was engine problems, but we found pretty quickly what the engine problems were. Oh, we're still missing one thing. <clears throat> All right, the tapping sound was the camshaft. Um, we got all this stuff. Part not discovered. It's probably a rubber bushing. I, I bet you it's a rubber bushing somewhere. And the problem with the rubber bushings is that you only test it on the test path, but you have to turn the car on to get do that. So I'm probably just gonna take this whole thing off. I wanna take it off. It'll look at it and test it. So let's take a look. 72% Oh, there it is. Found it. I knew it. I was, I was right. I was right. I'm not happy. I was right about something. Dope. Alright, so that's what it was. Cool. Alright, so we've, we've gotten everything. We, we're we going to have to rebuild that engine now. But other than that, we've, we've gotten everything off the car that is bad. And it's funny because I was going to do them separate. Now i got to do it all together. So now is the fun part. Now we got to order all the parts to put back in the car. Man, and this car has just been dissected. I feel like I just dug into a frog looking for the heart and I went up the butt first. <laughs> okay, what do we want first? Oh, guys, get some water. This is my last car for the stream. I will be continuing my building <laughs> of a car. Or more cars, more jobs. I'm gonna finish. Uh, Alright, so we need to fix. We need to take the shocks apart. Let's go do that too. Oh, wow, the shocks are bad. Okay, I might as well just write all this mess down that I did. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a picture this time, actually. <laughs> How many outer tie rods do I need? One. What are you? Uh, are you still working oh, on the Jeep? Still working on this Jeep, man. On your restoration, um, on your restoration process. I'm about to buy all the parts for the 
front suspension and then I'll get started on the rear suspension I already fixed the tires and got those rotated and balanced and all that so oh. and I have to do the exhaust after that which that'll be the easiest out of everything oh yeah okay what do we need guys what do we need what do we need tires are in good condition hopefully there's no front back actually there is a front and a back different tire um all right, fuel filter. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Let's go by condition. Yeah. Uh, I've already done the air filter, actually. That's one thing we did do already. I'm gonna take a picture of my screen. A few pictures, cause we gotta scroll down. The rest of this stuff does not need to be replaced. We could actually go and repair a lot of these things, but it's not going to do anything for us because they don't need to be fixed. <clears throat> it seems like the repairing thing kind of only matters for like if you find it in the junkyard or something like that. Because usually if you find a, a part that's low enough condition for you to repair um, on somebody's car, they don't even want to replace it. Yeah, basically. Alright, cool. I got my pictures now. And we will start with the ignition coils. I'll put on my little stand that I usually use for infinite flight. Yeah, we need... Okay, I love how they weren't actually in order when I took the picture. <laughs> so we need one, two... Three, four ignition coils. That's in the engine section. Let's see if we can get this done without forgetting anything this time. Not forgetting, but not just not getting the right part this time. I right, need four of those. It's me two hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Uh, we also need a steering rack. Eight hundred dollars just for one, but we get it for seven sixty because we got the that blue arrow discount. Oh yeah. Um. Next we need a camshaft cap V twelve V ten. There it is, V twelve V ten. Oh, this is so much easier having pictures. So much easier. I uh, need a fuel rail, just one. That's V ten. There it is. The Porsche. Wow, that one's two hundred eight dollars, two hundred ninety-five retail. <clears throat> uh, we also need. We already replaced the fuel filter. Um, I'm gonna get the rubber bushings last because last time I didn't get enough of those. Uh, front shock absorber cap. That's in suspension. Front shock absorber cap. We only need one. I think we, need, we should need two. <clears throat> yes, we need two. Dunzo. What else? What else? What else? Uh, we need a front spring. Do we only need one front spring? We need two front springs. Must have ended the mix, yeah, because uh, wow, has it been another hour? We've already spent more time now on this car than the first one. It's 1 30. Sheesh, 
Time goes by so quick, I feel like, when I play this game. Siobhan, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I uh, don't want to play these music. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah, the way I know is I played the, uh, the same <laughs> freaking mix three times. <laughs> two times. I played the same mix two times. And that mix is one hour long. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. All right, let's see what else is this. Okay, I don't like this mix either. I'm trying to change the music now. What's up, Shavant? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Please don't spam. I'm actually going to switch to my own music for my computer now. Because this one's not working. It's not that it's not working. It's just it's not playing what I want to play. There we go. Uh, mix. Let's see. Yes. We'll play this one. Make sure that's not too loud. Might be kind of loud. There we go. Mad chills. Turn it up a little bit. That should be good. Total bang. All right, cool. Back in the car. Where the heck is oh, here it is. Okay, we got two front springs. <clears throat> we need an upper suspension arm. I think we only need one. We need an upper suspension arm and a bottom suspension arm. No, we need two upper suspension arms and one bottom. So, bench. There it is, a two. And it's a regular one. Mr. Top Cap, good to see me. Welcome to the stream. So, two uppers. <clears throat> yes, two uppers and one bottom suspension arm. There's no A or anything out there, it's just a regular one. And next after that. I feel like I'm still gonna forget something. Oh, Easy to have in the picture. Alright, we need an inner tie rod. Two inner tie rods. Yes, two inner tie rods. And one outer tie rod. Yes, sir. So I'll type enter. There's an enter. We need two of those. Oh, you know what? I think I already had one from the last car. Crap! Dang it, bro. Remember that one I bought that I wasn't supposed to buy? I could have used it right now. It's okay. We'll use another car in some time in the future. <clears throat> Alright, we got that. Two enters, one outer. Two innies and one Audi. Um, next, we're gonna need. Front steering knuckle. Uh, B. Front steering knuckle B. I think we should only need one, right? So. <clears throat> That is bought. After that, we need a double wishbone shock absorber. Two of them. That is. Yeah. Hopefully, they pay me well for this one. We already got the absorber cap, we already got the bottom. Suspension on, we already got the oil filter, we already got the air filter. I think, believe it or not, I think that is all. I feel like we took a lot of crap off of this car. I feel like we're not putting a lot back on it. <laughs> uh, Justin Surgeon, good to see you, man. Yo, welcome to the stream. All right, it's time to rebuild this Porsche. <clears throat> I 
and I hope I have all the parts I need. I'm gonna do the, la the engine last because we didn't even need to take that apart. So we're gonna do the suspension first because that's what my gut told me to do last time. And I didn't. I didn't listen to my gut. Start over here, the front. Steering knuckle bravo. Just kind of zoom through this. Get this whole thing back together. Inside in. Oh, oh, I didn't do that yet. That is what I forgot to do. Okay, so we do still need a bunch of the little bitty pieces. I said I was gonna do those last, and I forgot that I said that. So how many of those do we need? Uh, let's see. Alright, so we need one. Okay, two. awesome. I think I bought everything that I need for the front part of the <laughs> seven. Alright, seven rubber bushings. The regular one. Nice. Next, we need <clears throat> a wheel hub bearing. And there is only one. 12 bucks, I'll take it for 11. Um, next, we will need. I haven't played this on in a while. That's it, I think. Yeah, there's none of the small ones. There's a, there's a small rubber bearing as well, or bushing. But it, we didn't take any of those off of the car. So we should be good there. All right. Now we will build the Porsche. Right down here in the center, that's where the wheel hub goes. Brand new one in there, put the cap on there as well. Put the brake pad. I'm really curious, bro, what the expert mode is like. What the what? Expert mode. Yeah, I don't know. It's already a challenge trying to figure stuff out. It is. It's definitely a challenge. But I feel like if we won't we do this enough, we'll get used to where things usually go. And we probably won't need to know. But I'm just curious of like what it takes away, you know? <clears throat> like, does it take away like the ghost of where things are supposed to be? Hmm. To take away the all the I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just curious of what exactly it. What is it that we are getting now? We maybe are not appreciating enough. <laughs> all right. So this is ooh, one thing we need to do is go to the shock spring puller and join these parts back together. Got another one. Cool. I was a little worried that I might have forgotten the piece, but we got everything we needed for that. What's up, IFMG? Good to see you, man. I know we spent at least three thousand dollars on these parts. I haven't looked yet, but I'm pretty sure we spent at least three thousand dollars on these parts. Right, where's the spring? Yeah. There it is. All right, as installed, we'll put the steering, new, brand new steering rack. <coughs> and a brand new inner tie rod, tie rod. And I don't know if this is the new outer tie rod. I only replaced one of them. A new upper suspension arm. So this is just so addicting, man. Too ridiculous. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like kind of like getting towards the end of like finishing this car, you know what I mean? And I'm like already thinking about the next one. <laughs> already thinking about the next one. I'm already thinking about what I'm like doing another one. And it's already been, we've been working on this car an hour. This is the second car. The first car took us an hour. 
probably just for the last an hour I did the intro and stuff like that um, but this car definitely at least an hour already that we've been working on this one we don't get any extra money or anything for taking longer to do things that's FYI guys yeah and usually when I'm doing this I don't like when I when I usually play this game like I'll step away I'll walk away I'll come back I'll do other things you know what I mean like I don't just like always just in one sitting it's like do especially like this kind of job is this long like if I wasn't streaming I would have walked away probably five times just for random reasons but this is the first time I've actually done a job like this big just non-stop all right I think the front end is all good let's take a look at the examination mode to make sure that we have installed and everything is in green that was supposed to be moved and there's no red or anything like that looks good to me All right, I think the front end is good this is where we should have started in the first darn place take a look at car status uh, repair yeah, most of this stuff is done. There's one more rubber bushing missing. Oh, I'm trying to remember where I found it. Where did I find it? Oh, I know. It, it's in. It's here. It's right here, actually. No, it's in the back. It's over here. Let's go ahead and install that one over there. There we go. And we're missing one over here, too. Cool. This time I didn't forget any of the rubber bushings. Getting better at this. Alright, I won't put the tires on yet, just in case I forgot anything again. But wow, everything under repair, all running gear faults is now done. I was looking for this entire section in the engine to find out that none of this was in the engine. <sighs> <clears throat> so, car is hard to control, that's been fixed. Repair all running gear faults has been fixed. Tapping sound, we know what that is. We have the part. Uh, replace all filters we know what that is we've already have the part and installed most of them actually we haven't because we took the engine apart and all this all right so now suspension is good the suspension is done it's good now we need to re put together the engine oh, okay that shouldn't be that hard right <laughs> i mean we took it off it should be faster to put it back on i assume i don't know where to start where to start I would say we're almost done, but we're not. <laughs> All right. Um, we didn't actually take anything out of like the camshaft area. I always took the uh, bottom oil pan cover off, so we'll put that back. Here's the oil filter. Dope, dope, dope. Um, next, I'll put, I'm trying to figure out what goes next. There's a clutch, we actually never need to move any of this, so I'm going to put this in. <sighs> things. We'll put, I can't like go over there. Oh, I have to do some of this stuff from the top. I'll do a lot of this stuff from the top. Alright, let's just do the bottom stuff first, and then we'll go to the top and finish it off. The so gearbox has to be done from the bottom. And even though I removed the gearbox completely and I'm putting it back in, we're not going to get paid for that. <laughs> because we didn't actually replace the gearbox. There's a starter. Amazing. <clears throat> uh, I think this can all actually be done from the top. We'll do that now. Rear axle. Here's the other rear axle. That's so funny, bro. I have a feeling also this is not gonna be the last time that I have to do this. That I end up like taking everything that I don't need to take apart. Putting. All right, I think we're good on the bottom. So let's go ahead and move the uh, move the uh, thing down. I get a text. 
Steering pump. I'll give him a little extra power steering fluid for the trouble. There should be a whole thing here, but I think we can't put the timing block back on until you get the engine block back on, engine head back on. Leave uh, all the skills. Deconstructed all of this and did it. <coughs> Alright, next we'll do the exhaust manifold. The cool thing though is I don't I'm, I don't get too upset about taking the engine completely apart because I learned kind of how the engine is built, what goes where. So whenever in the future when I get a job that says, hey, I need this specific thing, I know where that is already now because I've taken the whole thing apart. Or I kind of know where it is. I'll probably forget. That's in place. I like this engine. This engine looks so nice. The engine intake manifold. Alright, manifold back in. Yeah, this is going a lot faster than when we were taking it off. Uh, I'll put the timing chain back on. <clears throat> Push those up there. And also put the other timing chain back on. Just one screw for that. Who would have thought I'd ever do a, a two hour live stream of Car Mechanic Simulator? <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Who would have thought? I kind of love how unpredictable my channel can be. <laughs> like, I'm just, I, like, I, just, I love how like I just, to be the most random crap I'll stream sometimes. Like I try to still be consistent with the main stuff that I stream, like Infinite Flight, X-Plane, Racing. <clears throat> and usually when I do stream something random, it still kind of relates to the channel, whether it be um, like a real, like realistic of some sort, you know, or a simulation of some sort. Because usually a lot of things that I'm interested in and uh, the things that I stream are in the simulation realm of or realism. Like Insurgency came about because it's more realistic shooter, and I'm into the shooters, and it's realistic. And I also just stream kind of whatever I enjoy. Like, if there's a game I like, there's a possibility that I might, I might stream it. Um, but there's a lot of games, though, that I, ha I had to decide um, a while ago. Or I had to at least keep in mind a while ago. I, I, I was like, is certain games you can stream, and certain games you don't stream. Not that they're not streamable, it's just that everything doesn't need to be streamed. And the main reason yeah. for that is because sometimes you want to stream like your entire journey of something you know what I mean and you're like well but I'm not available to stream right now <clears throat> and if you like only like for example Formula 1 2018 I'm streaming my entire career right so that means that if you know if I'm not able to stream but I want to continue the career I can't play the game <laughs> you know what I mean because I want to be able to make sure that I'm able to stream each of those races and so if I'm not able to stream, then I'm not playing the game. The, th the difference is, though, I'll say with F1 2018, there's a lot of stuff that happens in between streams. Um, like there's a, like there's 
a lot of practice sessions. So I still do the practice sessions, I do the qualifying sessions, I do the car setup, all the behind the scenes stuff I still do, but I don't stream that stuff. I chose not to stream it, I only stream the races. Um, and I'll, you know, update you on what's going on, what happened in between. So for example, yesterday after my stream of F1 2018, I did a, um, a contract negotiation. That's something that's another feature within F1 2018. I just didn't stream that part. Um, and so basically what I had to do is I just had to renegotiate my contract, basically like kind of going through what I would receive at the races, the, uh, the things that need to, um, be, uh, updated in the car like all the different things that you can do there's a lot of different there's, there's so much stuff that goes into f1 2018 um more than that i show and um i was like well i still want to be able to do like i still want to be able to practice i don't want to have to do every practice as a video as a stream that's not my goal i just want to do the the races itself so it kind of works out that if even if I just get in the mood. I want to play F1 2018. I don't have to stream it. I can either go play multiplayer, or I can, <clears throat> or I can, um, I can uh, do practice mode and get ready for my next race. Because right now I'm kind of like on a weekly schedule where I'm trying to put out at least one race a week. So, like, for example, the next race is in Austria and uh, the Red Bull Ring, and so I, you know, I can do that now. I can do practicing now and get ready for that race because it's tough. To do these races 100%, you know, the full race and not wreck without some practice, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good. Um, and it also forces me to have to get some practice in before that stream happens because once I hit st start streaming, there is no starting over in that race, no matter how much I screw up. And if I don't prepare well, that race is not going to go well for me. Um, so when I prepare better, that's I think that's a big reason why I was able to get second place in my race yesterday. Spoilers. <laughs> um, was because um, I prepared. I did a lot of practice laps at the French Grand Prix, and that allowed me to uh, be able to get a good position and be able to compete really well with, the, with those guys. So it's the same with eye racing. If you don't prepare, if you don't do, if you don't practice, you're gonna suck in races. You're gonna get whooped. All right, camshaft is in place as well as the cam gear. I think we are ready to place the engine head cover back on. Have some more screws. Screw simulator. What's up, Emily? Emily Clark. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, if you just joined us, I'm we, uh... This Jeep. What'd you say? I'm almost done with this Jeep. Nice. Like, like all the way done. All the way done, yeah. Nice. So it's, it's basically, for you, it's gonna be about two hours, and yeah, because you pretty much started on it when I started my first car. Yeah, basically. We'll see how much of the profit is worth doing this. Yeah. All right. So we did actually replace a piece inside and in, underneath the engine cover that we needed to replace. That was bad. On um, the next bad piece was going to be the ignition coil. Uh, only four of them, though. I'm probably gonna put them all on the same side. All the good ones on the same side. Side. Oops. It reminds me of like whenever I build scenery for X Plane, it's very time consuming, kind of like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, and it's not really easy per se. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of easy, but it's just it's time consuming. It's, if you want to do a good job, it takes time to make it look great and look amazing. A lot of te testing and stuff like that. <clears throat> but for some reason, I still enjoy it. And I still go back and make more. So like, it's kind of like I feel like it's kind of the same thing here. Whereas like, it's it can be very time consuming to do a lot of some of these more complicated uh, jobs. Because I could easily get a brake job and have done like ten brake jobs in the time <laughs> that I've done. Uh, one car, but I don't know. Just in the end, the end, the end, the, the end game is, is enjoyable. All right, put a brand new filter in there. Put the cover on top, and on the left side of the engine is done. We're almost done now, for real this time. 
once we get all this put together hopefully all the good parts are put in and uh, we will see yeah I think that's it I think the engine is completely put together wow <laughs> oh wait we did miss a couple parts the uh, engine r fuel rail that's one of the things we have to replace so we got one new fuel rail, the other one's the old one, but it's, uh, it's, it's in good condition. Alright, let's take a look around, make sure we're not missing anything. Fuel filter is in, air filters are in, fuel rail is in, ignition covers are in, ignition coils are in. Uh, we put the gearbox back on? Did we? Yes, gearbox is in the back, oil filter is on. I think we're good. Let's go into the examination, but make sure everything is, is there. We're not it's there, but everything is, is in good condition. That's supposed to be there. Alright, put a boy on this bad boy. You have to get ready to start it up. Alright, let's go into the car status. All the ignition coils, the ignition coils are selected and put in. Filters are good. That tapping sound is gone. Repair all gear faults is good. Yes, we have installed everything that needs to be installed. Let's go ahead and get out of the engine now. So we'll put the hood back down. We'll put the uh, wheels and stuff back on. We don't need to raise the car anymore to do. Oh wait, don't forget there's different engines for the back. Sorry, engines. Different, uh, there's different uh, wheels for the back and the front. What are you saying? I'm about to get ready to test the car out real quick to make sure I have everything in order. See how those bad boys running. Yeah, man. Oh, man. This has been a project. Just wait till I actually do Done. one like what you're doing. <laughs> that took you two hours? That's gonna take me three. That's gonna be a stream in itself. We're almost done, guys. I think. Uh, I am gonna have to put oil in it. Let's not put the hood again, because I'm gonna forget to put oil in it. I wish that we could like wash the car and make the body look a bit better when, we, when it leaves. <clears throat> Sometimes, even though it's a nice car, it still looks like really crappy on the outside. Alright. Like what? Uh, like the uh, oil pan was gone, the starter was gone, so this car wasn't gonna start from the get go because it just didn't exist in the car. The starter was completely gone. Yeah. Fill her up. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. What is clip B? What is clip B? Alright, we got fuel. Let's take this thing off of the stand and see if she will start. Because she wouldn't start earlier. We'll put her through a uh, suspension test as well before we get rid of This is a nice looking car. Let's move it over there to the uh, garage entrance. Actually, I guess we're going to put it there because I didn't mean to do that, but now it's there. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, that car looks good. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh. I guess it's working because I couldn't even get it in here if the engine wouldn't start. So the engine's all repaired. Do a quick path test. Testing the brakes. We didn't touch the brakes, we didn't do anything to the brakes. Front brakes are 75, 78%. Now we'll test the rear brakes. That should be good. Two. We shall see what happens. Yeah, rear brakes looking good. 77%, 74. Now we're going to test the front suspension. Give it a good shaking. 
I like this interior though. Oh, there's a little glitch down there. You can kind of see like the thing below it in the uh, foot panel. Suspension looks good now. 98, 93. Means we did a good job on the front. That's where all the uh, issues were anyways. ET Mavic, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. The rear didn't have a problem in the first place. 80%. All right, looking through everything. Examine the 53 parts. We are good to go. Oh, man, we've been working on this one. I feel like I legit put a car together. Like, I really feel like... That's probably why we like this game so much, bro. We feel When you finish, you feel like you legit fixed the car. It really gives, that, gives you that feeling that, that feeling that you fixed the car. All right, we're going to move this car to the uh, garage entrance. And because it's so beautiful, we're going to take a nice picture of it before we get it out of here. Open up all the doors and all that stuff. Starting with the engine before we give it back to its owner. You know, stun on it a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can dig it. Start her up. Yep, it's working. It's working. Nice. Let's go take it for a test drive. Why not? Let's go to. We went to the Bannon Airport the first time. Let's go to the racetrack. How about that? Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. <laughs> oh, man. Once I finish this, I'm ready to eat. Ooh, this thing is full. Oh my god, I can't even control it. I'll tell you, my voice doesn't do the high pitches still. Oh my god, this thing is fast. I think I just ruined the suspension again by hitting the freaking bumper. Wow, this thing is quick. The last car I brought out here was like a freaking soccer mom van. Bump don't joke. They don't. They don't mess around. Bam! Oh my God! Can you imagine? You fix a car and you go and just wreck it right off the. <laughs> What's up, Bernard? Bernard? Bernardo? Good to see you. Oh, here's the S turn. Oh my God! All right, try that again. Oh, I swerve. I don't know, the engines are sound is horrible. It's horrible. They need to make a mod to fix the engine sound. You would think the DLC with the special cars would come with the engine sounds. It does not. Alright, see so if we can go for a record. I don't know what my record is. What did you say? Two hundred kilometers, two ten, two fifteen, two twelve. Bang, okay we try. All right, last lap to 122. All right, we're done. Take it back to the garage. Just send it back to the owner with all the scratches and bruises. <sighs> Maybe we did too good of the suspension because that thing turns really way too well. Okay, how much are we going to make on this job? Let's see. So we spent $2,793. Task bonus was $2,393. Job bonus was $1,196 bonus. We got $6,386. That's, I'll take it. That's definitely more than, more than that. Oh, I don't know if it's more than half. That's, 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 that's good. That's a good profit right there. I'll take that. I like it. That'll set us at $24,000. Heck yeah. All right. Well. The job is the, the the garage is clean. The garage is clear. That means our job is done here. Time to go on lunch break, guys. Thank you so much so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna go visit a barn after this. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I can find a car to to, to fix up. I, I won't be uh, that won't be part two. Part two will be whenever I feel like streaming this again at some point in the future. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of did it today because I needed to stream and. <laughs> I, I was playing this. I didn't want to stop playing this. I was like, you know what? I'll just stream this. And if people want to watch, they'll watch. If they don't want to watch, they won't watch. That's cool. I won't be offended because this is what I want to do. But um, anyways, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, who, who did stick around and watch, thank you so much for watching. Remember, as always, you have three choices. Give up. Give in. 
I'll give it all you got. Peace, love. God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Say, uh, say bye, Giovanni. Thank you, man, for uh, hanging out with me as well. Yeah. See ya, fam. Much appreciated. It was a... <laughs> yeah, I'm just addicted to this game, man. I don't know why. It's just so much fun. It like, is. Can't stop playing it. You know? It is. Like I said, I spent... It's, we're almost at actually that well that wasn't completely an hour it had to be at least an hour i think i spent an hour on each car actually it can't be because right now we've only been alive for two hours and 40 minutes i'm not sure i know i spent a long time on both cars probably equally amount same amount of time at least maybe 35 45 minutes on each car um no wait oh maybe an hour i don't know anyways point is it's been a long time and right now all i can think of is i want to go to the barn or check the phone and see what other jobs I got to work on because I want to work on another car. <laughs> um, outside of wanting to go eat, besides eating in real life, I want to get another car. But thank you guys so much for watching who did stick around. I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow will be Friday Night Flight. Uh, we'll continue the regular scheduled stuff next week. Uh, I try my best to stream somewhere around 1600 Zulu. at uh, 10 a.m. Central and 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I can't tell you what I'm gonna be streaming you next, but uh, but yeah, stay tuned, guys. Uh, I think I already said my thing. Peace, love, God bless you. See you guys next time, next video. Deuces.